Hey guys, it's uh, Nostic from Nostic Productions here. Uh, and today we're going to create a new logo, uh, or I'm going to create a new logo. Um, I was thinking about doing this as a, a speed art uh, type of thing, but uh, I thought maybe you would like to see it. So uh, this time I'm going for a, a, a much more lighter version uh, of uh, my logo. Uh, you can see this one, this is the previous one, uh, which is uh, kind of dark. Uh, so I would uh, like to go for um, a light and a kind of vintage looking, um, maybe sparkly one. So um, yeah, let's get started. Uh, I'm going to create a new layer uh, and choose uh, H uh, full HD settings because I'm going to use this in uh, my videos. Uh, and click OK. Um, so the first thing I would like to do is uh, create a background maybe. Uh, and by the way, this is completely improvised, so uh, I haven't planned this. Uh, so I'm just going step by step and uh, trying to figure something out. Uh, anyways, um, these colors actually look good for this. Yeah, alright. <laughs> um, yeah, I was thinking about uh, maybe some, uh, some brown or orange-ish colors and uh, not too dark but these look uh, all right so uh, I'm going to start off by creating a gradient layer um, let me see that wasn't very nice um, let me just create my own gradient by uh, by clicking these you can click as many times as you want and create like custom uh, custom colors and stuff so I think I'll have uh, a dark one on the bottom and on the top, so I'll just click here and create a darker one instead, uh, like this. Then I'll create, um, let's see, I have to create a light one here, so that the entire mid part is light, but the, the top and the bottom are dark. So. See, I have to make this a tad lighter, maybe. Yeah, okay, so that looks alright. So this one a tad lighter as well. Yeah, so something like that. Just click OK, and um, we got us up our background. So, uh, the next thing I think will be the text. Um, and the way I normally create my logo is. Um, I'm going to show you. The first thing is um, uh, the first letter. Let me see. I think maybe 80 in size would be alright. 85 perhaps. Yeah. Okay, so 85 is alright. Um, so I'll make the first letter first, then just uh, duplicate the layer by selecting the layer and pressing Ctrl J and just uh, holding Ctrl and dragging it to the side then uh, changing the letter to P uh, which is Gnostic Productions and um, then I'm going to uh, rasterize the layers uh, which means that they get different um, uh, you can kind of manipulate them differently uh, than if they were a um, text layer so I'm not sure what rasterize even means but I know what it does so <laughs> yeah uh, then normally what I do is I just hold control uh, or you can press V on your keyboard to select the move tool uh, so you just drag it on top of the other so uh, what I want to do here is, is combine these two uh, letters to make one letter instead of two. So when they are aligned, I just uh, I want to center them a bit more. Uh, then I select the N uh, layer, and then I uh, press Control and click in this little window here next to the I, just to select the uh, the, le the letter. Uh, then I go and select the uh, P layer and um, uh, wait a minute. No, I'm doing this uh, in the wrong um, wrong order. <laughs> okay. 
Um, let me see. I haven't done this in a while, so uh, I think I'll just select the layer N, and uh, because the P is covering up the um, the top part, there, this is the part I want to remove. So since this P is covering up the this part of the N, I'm just going to delete this part, and yeah, it worked fine. Yeah, the easiest is often the best. So I've got this done. And uh, maybe I would like to add some. Let me see. Maybe I want some um, some layer. Um, what it was called? Uh, blending options. Yeah. So first, merge layers to make this these two letters into one. Um, I'm just going to add some uh, layer style. Um, I think I want to add a drop shadow. Uh, this was kind of too harsh for me because you can see kind of the lines of the drop shadow uh, so I would increase the size a bit to make it more flowy-ish <laughs> I don't know <laughs> uh, and maybe make it a dark brown orange-ish instead of a complete black one um, let me see not too yellow because that just looks ugly yeah, something like this, perhaps. And I think that's it. I don't want to over edit this too much. So, um, the next thing I'm going to do is make uh, another text layer with the um, Nostalgia Production uh, subtext. So, I just write Nostalgia Productions and I'll resize it, of course. Um, maybe to an 8 or. Yeah, I think 8 is alright. Um, yeah, I think I do it like this. I think that looks alright. So. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, maybe in the center, yeah. Okay, so I'm, uh, I'm just figuring this out as I go, so don't judge me if I do anything you don't like or. Uh, yeah, I'm just doing what I think looks good, so yeah, I think this looks all right, but the um I think this this part here is maybe it's it's kind of boring, it's just flat and yeah, uh, I just need some uh, texture uh I got a lot of textures here, which I've downloaded um I can't remember where, but uh if you just search for a texture pack. I'm sure you'll find something, um, and I'm looking for something with the same color scheme as I'm using in the in the gradient here. So these three might be good uh, candidates. Uh, I think I used the top one. Just see how this looks. Yeah, maybe kind of light, but that's no problem, I think. Okay, so I'm just gonna rescale it by. Um, holding shift and alt to maintain the aspect ratio because uh, if, if not you stretch it and it looks ugly so yeah just keep it like this and just double click or click up here to commit the changes uh, then what I'm going to do is um, hold control and um, select the P layer so uh, the NP uh, logo is selected then I'm going to press Control, Shift, and I to invert the selection. So now everything else but the N and P is selected. And I'm going to press. Oh, wait a minute. I have to rasterize first. Then um, delete this. So now I'm only left with the texture on the N P, which looks actually kind of good. So um, now I think I'll make the background more interesting. Maybe some more textures on the background. Um, maybe some sparkly things. I don't know. Um, yeah, this one. This one. Um, so, this is very sparkly. <laughs> As you can see, uh, it fits perfectly, I think. So, yeah, it looks alright. Uh, but I'm not going to leave it at that. I'm going to, let me see, I think I'll 
just decrease the opacity to about 60 and change it to either let me see soft light or overlay yeah soft light looks all right so i think that's it i don't want to do anything else so uh, yeah that's my tutorial and uh, i'll see you next time